Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to a new video. So today we are going to be talking about the different levels of Ackermann that's possible. So the idea is quite simple. So you draw perpendiculars from all the tires and you basically see where you know they're intersecting. Now in case of true Ackermann or 100% Ackermann, all these lines are going to basically uh, intersect at a point which is what you call as the turn center, right? So that is the center about which your vehicle is going to turn. Now, in this case, the angle that your inner tire makes is much greater than the angle that your outer tire makes. And that's kind of easy to see from this particular picture. The second configuration is what you call as parallel steer. Now, in this particular case, the perpendiculars that you draw from the front tires do not intersect at all. All right. Now, in this case, delta I and delta O are exactly the same. So that is the angle made by the inner and outer tires are exactly the same. The final possible configuration is what you call as reverse Ackermann and the idea is very simple. So in this case, the angle made by the inner tires are much lesser than the angle made by the outer tires. So if you basically draw the perpendiculars, they don't intersect on this side. Whereas if you go on the other side, these lines do intersect and your turn center is right there. All right. With that, I would like to conclude this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.